And now we're going to summarize J.R.R. Tolkien's The Silmarillion, because only one-tenth of one percent of you will likely ever read it. Ahem. <laughs> In the beginning, there was the song that created the world Arda. <laughs> Melkor, that was terrible. It's not my fault, Eru. I just didn't want to come to rehearsals. Then it's entirely your fault. Then the angelic beings who served Eru managed to finish the world, despite Melkor just being the worst. Gus Valar did a good job, didn't we, Varda? Stop breaking yourself! Hmm. So Yvonne created the two trees to replace the lamps what lit the world. Yup, I'm a genius. Foiled again. Ooh, elves. You're gonna be an orc whether you like it or not. No! Yay! Look what I found, Manwe. Arome, you found the elves. Welcome to Valinor, my friends. Then Galadriel was born, too. Eventually. Wait, what? And then her creepy uncle Feanor saw the light of the trees and was like, Dang! I'm about to bottle that in some bling. Oh, my, and don't like that bling burn any unclean or evil hands. So everybody better start washing their hands. That means you, Ulmel. Meanwhile, Melkor was still just being the worst. Sauron, I'm leaving you in charge. Melky's got to get his terrible on. And get those Balrogs in line, would you? Sure thing, boss. So let it rip this wicked baby in Balrog. I guess where there was a whip, there was a way. Okay, Ungoliant, you eat those glowy tree things while I raid the safe. Milky out! Um nom, darling. Ole! Did you remember to pay the electric bill? Yes. No, ma'am. Twas I, Melkor. Your trees are gone. Your gems are gone. And I killed your dad or something. No! My gems! You're not dead or something! So Melkor and Ungoliant returned to Middle-earth via the icy north. A victimless crime! Unless you count all the victims. Back in Valinor... Who wants to follow me on a horrible suicide machine? So we can get some of my jewelry back! <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Middle-earth... Hand over all the gems, darling. Mama's hungry. Here are all of the... Lesser... Gems! <laughs> this one looks delicious, darling. And this one, too. I think I'll be taking my time with these. I don't get it. These gems are usually only supposed to burn you if you're evil. Feodor must have rigged these silver to burn innocent old Melky for some reason. What a jerk. Back in Valinor. All right. Nienna and I are going to make the moon and the sun out of what we can salvage from the two trees. Do y'all think we can hold on to these light sources? <gasps> No one wants to hear it, Mandos. Oh, sales are off on our horrible suicide mission. Don't wait up, man way. You're gonna regret it. Nuh-uh. One first age later. We elves regret everything. <laughs> okay, we'll bail you out just this once, but don't expect Wars of Wrath to be an everyday kind of thing. Oh, who am I kidding? We're already planning Degor Degorath. Then, after the War of Wrath... My only regret is that I didn't get a chance to destroy any other important sources of light. Whee! Melkor, you silly goose! The future of jewelry clearly lies in rings! Doo-doo! 